Well, the Grand Galvez right here on the seawall in Galveston is notorious for some of their residents that are no longer with us. Correct. And we would like to just kind of give everybody a little bit of an overview if you've never been here. Melissa, you have been with the hotel for almost six years now. Oh, almost 11. Almost 11 almost years 11. now. My apologies, <laughs> but good. you are the ghostess of Galveston. I am. I started out as the ghostess of the Galvez, and then everybody just started calling me ghostess of Galveston, and I'm like, you know what? I'm taking as far as I can. <laughs> so for people who don't know the backstory, let's give them a little bit of information on your most famous resident who still lives here. Oh, our lovelorn bride, Miss Audra. She is, let's just say, her her room is 501. Okay. So, and she was waiting on her mare and her fiance to return from sea. Uh, word got back to her that there was a mighty storm, ship went down, all hands on deck were lost. So if you want to hear the rest of that story, we could do it in 501 if you like. <gasps> Ooh, you just gave me goosebumps. I think we might have to head there next. But you guys always have a great month full of uh, kind of spooky themed events, and you're going to do a ball in her honor. It's going to be a lot of fun. We are. It's going to be the, the second annual Halloween ball. Uh, it is Audra's reception that she never had. Uh, we will be changing themes next year. We're going to be changing themes every year. Uh, but it is just full of entertainment. Uh, it's $75. It's here uh, at the Grand Galvez okay. from 7 to 11. Tickets, again, like $75. Okay. Uh, the lineup's going to be playing. We have a live band. The Ferrari Club's going to be here. So, I mean, it is going to be one I know party. that this hotel is always going to be decked out in so much fun, but a lot of it is actual artifacts and, and oh, historic yes, yes. items. Like, where are we standing right now? I know that we were talking about the vehicle behind us. Uh huh. So what used to stand here, right here, the the brown wood. This was the gentleman's grill. Okay. So you see all the the balcony all the way through. This is all original. So these were open balconies. Oh. So, but the 1915 Sportster. The reason why that we have that. The first colored brochure that was printed in our printing press okay. uh, is right behind us. This was the first oh, colored brochure that the was presented or that was. Printed, okay, and it had the 1915 Sportster in it. And the the Sportsters, they were famous for racing on the the beach. Uh, so our owner, Mr. Wyant, he drove this down from Dallas uh, when we turned 110. 110, so, uh, and 110. you guys opened in 1911. We correct? opened. Sep uh, I'm sorry, we opened. Uh, June, uh, <laughs> my mind went blank. It's been a long time. 1911 was definitely 1911, the year. 1911, we're 113 sure. years old. So yes, you also offer tours because not only is Audra a presence in the hotel, but there are lots of other guests who you like to show to some of your, oh, your guests Oh, yes, there is. Miss Audra is just the most famous ghost that we have here. Okay. We have so many that roam the halls. Um, if you're on the second floor, it's just as haunted as the fifth. If you're on the third floor, it's just as haunted as the second which is just as haunted as the fifth. So it's throughout. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I asked Melissa where the bathroom was, and she said, would you like to use the haunted bathroom? And I said, no, I, I don't want to use the haunted bathroom. And she goes, well, all the bathrooms in the Galvez are haunted, so take your pick. So it's truly a beautiful hotel, and if nothing more, a historic experience. And like you said, we're going to go check out room 501. That's the most popular one, right? That's the room that everybody wants to see, and it is our owner actually decorated that room himself okay. so I have to tell you it is absolutely stunning and it's all about respecting Miss Audra's space mm -hmm. and uh, leaving everything at the door uh, as we go in and back out right yes ma'am okay well you guys don't go anywhere because <laughs> I'm gonna go in and take a look and we'll uh, go see what we find there coming up in just a little bit all right, Lauren Kelly, that sounds great. A good time. I like a little haunted little, situation. Especially right now. Especially yeah. right now. Okay, coming up. Well, the Grand Galvez in Galveston is notorious for a lot of things. It's a beautiful hotel with tons of history. And, of course, it is infamously haunted. And the story of their most famous ghost slash resident is right here in this room in 501 Melissa Hall, the ghostess of Galveston. You you really have made a lot of friends that you can't see anymore in this hotel oh, from certainly all have. the years you have been here, right? <laughs> I most certainly have. <laughs> I, uh, I walked down this hallway never thinking that we were going to come into this room, but this is the notorious famous haunted room here. It most certainly is. And it belonged to? Audra, our lovelorn bride. Okay, now the photo that we're looking at, that's not exactly her, but that's what we're thinking she may have looked like. That is. Um, our owner, Mr. Wyatt, he actually
actually did all the decorating in the room, and he purchased that because okay. in his mind, that's what Audra looked like. Okay, so when you come here, you can now actually stay in this room. You can request Ooh. to stay in this room. It's one of the most popular. Uh -huh. and what other kind of things do people, should they know before staying in here? Uh, do not ask Audra to come out to play. Okay. She will. Okay. I have had many guests who have checked in, uh, checked out by midnight. Uh, and they couldn't even make it through the they night. They couldn't make it through the night. I had a guest that checked in. In fact, it was last night. Uh, they checked in and they're like, do you have another room available just in case we can't make it through the night? And we said, we certainly do. But they did my ghost tour, so I'm not sure if they made it through the night or not. So for people who don't know, you do also do ghost tours. And you do those all year long. I do. I do them every uh, okay. all year, different dates, because I have to work around the events of the hotel. Of course. And so. it's not only Miss Audra. There are plenty of other residents here, yes, right? There is. Yes, there is. We have hundreds and hundreds. And you have photos. I'm seeing her photos. Yes. She wanted to show us her tablet that just kind of kept going. It's a good thing that we didn't see the mirrors in the elevators because that would have right. definitely uh, lured me away from this room. But you mentioned something as we were walking down the hallway to this room. You're, it, it's all about presence, right? Mm -hmm. So once you start walking towards this room, I've only heard of the chills, of the cold feeling you get when there's presences around. But this hallway gave us a little bit of like a vertigo, like an off balance feeling, it right? Does. Mm -hmm. I always tell my guests when I'm when I'm bringing them down yeah. here, pay attention to how you feel. A lot of times, I mean, I get vertigo and my ear starts ringing, and I've been told that that's when the spirits are trying to talk to me. Right, right. But like I said, I mean, I literally have bounced off the walls walking down this this wing. It's and crazy. it does it affects people differently. I've had people turn around and said, I can't do it. I'm not going to stay here. Yes, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to you know go in that room. So well, but there's we're nothing bad. it's nothing bad. We we love having her presence here, which really she's just watching out for us and she's. Yeah out for her hotel, right? She most certainly is. And we are throwing her a wedding reception in her honor. Give our viewers one last time the we info are. about the ball. Uh, uh, October 28th, okay. we are having the Ghost Bride, uh, uh, the Ghost Bride Ball, I'm okay. sorry. Um, and you can come in costume if you like. Yes, you can. Okay. You can come in costume. You could either come in costume uh, as one of Audra's wedding guests. I have plenty of bridesmaids dresses that there anybody can use occasion. if they need one. <laughs> all right, Melissa, thank you so much for all the info. Audra, thank you for letting us come into your room today. If you guys want more info, HoustonLife.tv. But this has been quite the experience. Well, Happy Halloween. You. Houston Life will be right back.